I think he wants to come out. Good. A uh, good view vanish. Maybe he'll hop out. As we start. No. Oh, I didn't connect any of this stuff. Sorry, here's a wind screen. See if the squirrel will talk to us. Wouldn't that be something? All right, where is the best position to see squirrel dude? Um, like right terrible position. You still down there, buddy? Let me see if I can do this. Oops, sorry. Yep. I got you. Well, hello, Frog King. It should be. We'll see what happens to Squirrel. If he climbs up and out of here. There you go. Thank you. Hey, Frog King. How is my um, connection? Any good? Utter trash. I'll go check it out.
still going. That's right, buddy. Hey, little friend. It's all right. Hey, check this corn anyway. Come over here. Come on. There you go. Be free. Be free. There. Nice job, Joey. Anybody see where he went? <laughs> we got him. Anybody else in here? Everything looks good. Corn looks really good. All right, well, get ready for tomorrow. Maybe I'll go out and uh, plant a little bit. Ooh, I can get the soybean planter going. We'll get that up and ready to go. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, I'll show you guys what we were looking at. So only about a one foot jump from here to here. And then obviously he had this platform. And um, I don't know, did he run up the bend there? Or who knows? To use my... You guys ever use your nose to unlock your screen when you have gloves on? I just rotated the camera uh, with my nose. What? Soybean planter. Now we're going to climb down. Uh, let's see. How do you want to do this? Let me do this. Use my nose once again. Much better Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> hi. All right. Welcome to the uh, Paradox Twilight Mute. Mute. There you go. Great way to fix some of this stuff. Just give me one minute. Okay. Now let's see what we are doing here. Um, internet auto. Okay, let's go back up to 720p. That doesn't look bad at all. I mean, besides my face. Now what? Let's get something to drink. Should probably, hello Germany, get some water. Oh. And, uh, by the way, um, dad's here working so um 
he might pop in the office and then I'll have to cut the stream and the feed real quick. You understand, right? That was delicious. Need to drink more water during the day. Um, that's right. But I, I am going to go out to the planter. Um, how bad was the signal reception? Did you guys cut out? Really bad? Did I lose you for a minute? I wonder if... Okay, I've got a new idea. Bear with me as we learn this together. All right, here, I've got it, yeah. Dump that. That's the farm in 2007. That's the farm in 19... Oh, it was before 93. It was before 1993, and I can tell you why. I should show you a picture of those. Um, all right. Just bear with me for a second. I want to be messing with my phone. You guys want to look at a calculator? Probably not. Um, all, right. all right. So when I, all right, it, when I close the app, I can't do anything on my phone. Why did I use that one? I should have used this phone. I want to see what connection I am. All right, pause. Let's try this. I'm back. <laughs> nice. Nice face, Carlson. That was an that was an awesome. We need to screenshot that. Um, um for my thumbnail. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? Uh, what are your thoughts on the current market prices? Um, we talking Dogecoin, Bitcoin, which market are we talking about? Lumber, corn, soybeans, hogs, fats, cattle, um, AMC, GameStop, Tesla. Um, I can give you an opinion on all of the above. I'm assuming you're going to say corn and soybeans. Um, I think, oh, what's a good way to explain it? Um, I think prices are very good currently for farmers. Right now, the market is trying to encourage. Are we working pigs this year? Yes. Sorry. Um, back to the markets. Add commodities first. I can do it. Farming stocks. Corn stocks. The market is doing its best job and best ability to encourage farmers to plant uh, in the Northern Hemisphere to plant as many acres as possible. Uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, uh, winter wheat is already in Milo. Uh, Milo bases have been really high, really good. We will be planting, uh, Laura will be planting some Milo um, this year. Um, this is not a squirrel like, it is a squirrel live stream. <laughs> um, corn, soybeans. Market's doing its best to encourage more production and or trim down demand. And I just don't think we'll see it. You know, um, I believe, and this is not, this is not um, marketing advice. I'm not a market advisor. I believe in my heart we will see $20 soybeans and $8 corn this year, this summer. If a few parts of the country get dry, um, I think things will get, or perceived to be dry, I think things will get really interesting. I do think farmers will plant more acres this year um, than they originally estimated in March 31st. Any other questions?
Inflation train. Absolutely. You guys know what inflation is? Inflation is more dollars chasing a limited number of goods. Is that right? Did I explain that right? So we have lots and lots of dollars out there circulating and they're buying real goods like commodities, lumber, sugar. What else was that? Uh, Deegan's, just your thoughts on the late 90s and early 2000s. On the Deegan's, Brian Deegan, back in motocross world. I don't understand that question too much. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. At the squirrel. No, and I think the reception inside the bin would have been uh, poor as well, too. Um, fuel costs, certainly. Deegan's. Josh, what do you want to know about the Deegan's? Um, followed Brian, well, before social media, watched all of his videos and tried to mimic a lot of the things he was doing um, way back in the day. Um, any thoughts on the John Deere a couple weeks ago that's... Wait a minute, wait a minute here. Any thoughts on the John Deere? Oh, hack. Hack a couple weeks ago that stole and released all their customers' data. Look, our data, customers' data, everybody's data, all your information is out there floating around, being bought, sold, and traded all the time. Um, companies do their best to, if they spend lots of money, they hire lots of people to stop hackers from hacking. But um, um, I'm not too worried about it for my own personal information or my farming and field information for crying out loud. Look what I give you guys. <laughs> I give you full, full access to um, um, almost everything we're doing out here. How many acres? How many acres the farm have roundabout? Roughly about 2,000. We are actually exactly at 2,000 uh, 2, acres. So we grew, oh, in the last year or two, um, picked up some rental, rental farm ground. So it seems to fit just about right. Um, when I'm working, it's too much. And then when it comes to um, selling, it's not enough or used to be not enough. Um, any ag tech that you're excited to test in the fields this year? Yes, everything. Send me your <laughs> products. Send me your products. I will test and run whatever equipment you guys want. Case IH, John Deere, Agco, Miller, who else? Orthman. Okay, how do you feel? Okay, where are we at here? How do you feel about fake beef products? Um, people gotta eat and people get to choose what they want, when they want. So um, I like I like beef, I like hamburger, I like pork. I like the real stuff. That's, it's probably gonna be um, quite possibly a commodity that um, uh, that'll have higher value just because it's the Real thing. That's what I prefer. Why can't you plant female and male seed corn at the same time? Thomas, that's no problem at all. Uh, you can. We're putting it on at different rates. So we're planting, uh, you know, we'll plant the female um, sometimes around 30 or 40,000 um, plants per acre. And uh, the male, we're, we're splitting the male. So um, let's say, for example, we need 30,000 male seeds out there to pollinate the female. We will put um, half of them, 15,000 in now, and then we'll come back a week later and plant the other half, the other 15,000. So we'll have 30,000 plants out there, but they are just the pollinators. So that gives a longer, wider window of pollen shed um, so that if the female is delayed a little bit, um, the... Um, uh, silks taking on the pollen. Um, it's just to help us get our timing, uh, timing correct. 
on the to get a good pollen to get as many female kernels pollinated as possible. But some guys do plant. Some guys do plant at the same time. And I'm set up. We can do it. We just plug holes. Uh, it just doesn't do a very good job, and it's just easier because you don't want to screw up. You can't put <laughs> accidentally get what we would call the male rows in the female rows or vice versa, because then that'll screw up the hybrid, the entire operation. So it's just easier for me and my brain to keep everything separate. Thoughts on right to repair. I believe I have the right to repair. I would like to, when I purchase a vehicle, tractor, phone, anything else, I would like to be able to fix, modify, adjust, as I see fit because I own it. Good question though. That's a very hot subject, but I'm of opinion. I have the right to repair my own stuff, please. It is not, it is not the same, but it's just, it's easier as for us to call it that, to give it specific so we know exactly, uh, you know, dad says, I need is in the mail planner. Bring out a bag. Bring out the mail seed. The bags of mail. It can be very confusing. What is seed corn? Haha. <laughs> um. Okay. So, you know what? Okay. Corn. Corns are plants that um, is grown all over the world. I think it's either wheat or corn. Both of them uh, grown all over the world, and it's used for food, fuel, and sugars, a lot of other things, uh, great huge commodity. So farmers grow corn, but the farmers do not grow their own seed. Um, they pay companies um, to produce the best genetics. You know, the farmers do a lot of things out here, but we can't do it all. So I can't make my own fertilizer. Well, I guess I can with manure <laughs> that I spread. Um, um, so it's just a lot easier and cost effective for me to just buy a bag of seed corn than it is for me to grow my own seed corn. It takes, it takes like $10 million to bring, you know, these aren't even right numbers, $100 million. It takes, it takes a lot of time, money, manpower, and person, uh, personnel to uh, bring a product to, to market. So They've been working on, like the, the corn that I'll be planting this week, they've been building that trait for over the last 10 years, finding, finding the best resistance to weeds, disease, bugs, and to produce a very nutrient-dense um, product or high-yielding product. So anyway, back, good grief, Kale, you're getting deep in the weeds here. Keep it simple. Um, so I buy a bag of seed corn from a company that produces it, and companies hire a few producers. I'm one of them to grow the seed corn. So the seed corn that we're growing this year will be sold next year and the year after After that. Good question. A little bit long-winded there. Yeah, Wapples in from Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eric, Eric Wapples, a great, great dude. In fact, no, that was Tony. Uh, sending me Snapchats. Eric, are you on? I don't think he follows me on uh, YouTube. Um, actually, I sat on a panel uh, in 2000, uh, 2019, Farmer to Farmer. Um, not a panel. Um, we gave a presentation to the Farmer to Farmer audience at FBN in 2019. That's when I, for, but I've known him we go way back on Twitter since like 2012. So we've known each other um, for a very long time on different social media channels. Great dude, great family. Do you know if there's a reason that most of the corn grown here in Arkansas is feed corn instead of regular corn? Um, I'm not sure, well, it's just whatever local, local market is. <gasps> She got a notification that Laura posted a new video. Should we click on it? Um, um, you guys should hop off this feed, go over to, ooh, no views yet, 21 seconds, racing the rain. Let me click.
click on it here real quick and give it a thumbs up. Sorry, that's her channel. Let's let her do her thing. Um, Arkansas, feed corn, white. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Feed corn, are you talking about silage, corn silage, hog feed, cattle feed? What kind of feed corn? In the last video of Laura's, the males were not planted at the same time. What's the reason? I explained that. Just go back in this video earlier. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Good job. Um, spreading manure. Um, many in Scotland replant their own corn, wheat, barley as it's illegal to plant GMO crops in Scotland. I did not know that. Um, uh oh. It's dad. I can hear dad walk around. He's going to come in here. All right, Scotland, GMO. They're planting at the same time, just using two different planters. Oh yeah, hey, you guys do a great job answering the questions. If you guys, dad just had a chemo treatment this morning and he's already out here in the shop. He's, he's looking good and feeling good. Yeah, I know it. I Look, I tell Laura, take it easy. We all love and appreciate everything Laura is doing. Um, I certainly love having her on the farm helping. I need a ton of help here. She's a tremendous help. Um, but, um, I don't want her to get burned out. She needs to have, you know, newlywed. Um, you need to have, you need to have good balance. And I hope that I did not create in her the addiction that I have to farming. And I spend usually too much time here, a lot of time here. Um, so um, just send her your, you know, thanks and <laughs> does your brain ever go in a thousand different directions? <laughs> I already know that I have attention deficit disorder. Um, um, yeah, good job, Laura, cranking out a video every day. Good luck to you. You do it. You do a really good job. Do farmers still use manure as fertilizer? Yes, so do I. Um, in fact, I'll be spreading it. I have no idea when. This week, next week, um, we will be spreading manure. Why do we cut off the tops of the male corn? No, we actually cut off the tops of the female corn because the top is the pollen. That's the pollinator, that's the males and the um, the um, um, the females, we do not want them to pollinate themselves. We want the male pollen um, on the on the female. All right, you guys. Is that better? Yeah, I like that view better. It looked like you guys were looking up my nose. Sorry about that. Feel free to, yeah, I should turn the camera around. Um, anyway, we cut off the tops of the female and that's just so, uh, so also, um, uh, we plant, uh, we have fertile and sterile plants. So a lot of the females that we're planting this year are sterile. So they do not have to be pulled and detasseled. We can just cut the tops off and they won't pollinate themselves. Yes, there's a lot of chickens in Arkansas. Yeah, very good. You are correct about Arkansas. Hi, Florida. Hello, I was just in Florida. When? December, we went to Florida. Love it down there. All right, do this. All right, how long have we been on? 42 minutes. We should go plant, let's go get that soybean planter going. You guys can come along with. It's probably a lot better internet connection in here. I 
Any other thoughts, questions, or concerns? Hmm. I should be charging my phone as well, too. Nailed it. Stop focusing, camera. Um, oh, here's a goofy question. Does the Ogallala Aquifer ever lose pressure? Hmm. Does the Ogallala Aquifer have pressure? Um, our water has been going up, um, our static water table. We have been gaining water in the last few years. And I would like to think that's probably due to a lot of our efficiencies that we've gotten in irrigating. We are pumping less water uh, to produce a bushel of corn or a bushel of soybeans. No, so I don't think, um, I don't think we have any pressure on the aquifer. You guys getting bored? So am I. Let's go do something. Can't sit around here all day. We'll be on for about 15 more minutes. And Okay. Got it. Sunglasses. Oh, hey, do you like my shirts? Look at this new shirt. See? Lead Farms. Yes, nobody's out here. Um, I have to go get a box. I'll show you my new, my new toy. It's not a toy. Actually, I tell you what. This is what we're going to do. Uh, new ag cam. So on my sprayer, I have a backup camera. You're probably screaming into the video. Right there, and it does not work. So we are going to... Let's install this other one. Oh, this is there we go um, it was not working so we will uh, put this other camera this other camera on and see if that is the problem these ad cams are awesome had this one for a lot of years. It's outside in the weather. Um, but it's not working in the monitor. So, but I do have, I did buy a new camera setup. Okay. That needs to be tightened. Let's go into the cap. And we will power it up and see if it works. The camera, that is. Uh, do I use slurry? Um, no. Actually, we have... Um, 
we kind of do. What is that? Oh, that was my radio. I left it in here last night. It was a late night spraying, but the wind calmed down. It was great. Oh, baby, it works. I only have one camera on there. Oh, well, that was an easy fix. Oh, that makes me really happy. Oh, hooray. Well, thanks. I should bring you guys along more often. You guys do pretty good work here. As far as um, getting these things fixed. And we get to charge this radio. Wait, did you shut that monitor off? Or do you want a dead battery? I better go shut that off. And... Um, get that ag cam. So oh, this one's dead. What do you think? Is there a warranty on this? You think there's a warranty on this camera for being out in the weather for eight years? Oh, what happened, guys? Did you slip? Okay. Has it been an hour? of squirrel time. Where should we put this? Throw this away? You should throw it away. Might take it to Ag Express. See if they want to mess with it. It could be just, just be a cable cord. Put it right there. Don't forget. Don't forget that. 50 minutes. Any other questions? Otherwise, I am going to Jet. Does the news of tech billionaires like Bill Gates buying large swaths of farmland concern you? Um, not too much. Um, there's not much I can do with it. Private citizen buying private land. Fair market value. Land is a great investment. How long have I been farming? I'd like to say my whole life. Um, but I started farming on my own, like my own farm ground in 1998. So what is that, 22 years? 20, this is my 23rd, 23rd season. Oh, how's the garage door? Did you straighten the bracket? Yeah, okay. Um, Boy, I had, I finally had the company come out and take a look at it. You're probably talking about that bracket. Yeah, that's a new bracket. I don't know where the other one is. It's just bent. Um, we ended up having several issues. Oh, look at this little hack. Take a little paper towel holder to cover those eyes. We needed new, those need to be new eyes. This switch is bad. Um, it's still works um but the switch was bad on the other side too so yeah these shop doors they came out and fixed a bunch of stuff but they got to come back out they did put on new eyes down here in the corner that's been giving me fits and problems right there brand new eye There you see it. Working good. I can't wait to spray tomorrow. Oh, the ad cameras, they are expensive. They're probably the most expensive camera on the market, um, but they do work the best.
When am I getting a tank? I would love to have a tank. I'd like to drive a tank. Um, Apache Post. Oh, Apache Post. Yeah, that's a, that is a, um, we can go take a look at that. Um, I knew a guy, one of my neighbors uh, flew the Apache, AH-64, and he had a friend draw that in pencil. That's actually a really cool, and he gave it to me when I was in high school, or junior high, I was, I was pretty young. I wanted to, um, oh, let's see this here. I wanted to be a pilot, and since he flew Apaches, he was going to get me into flight school and help me out so I would be a pilot and not just uh, a mechanic on it. But here it is. So this is all done in pencil. This was print number 821 of 3000, I guess. I'm not sure who the artist is, but the detail is really pretty incredible. Um, yeah, all done with print pencil. Um, Kaz Gear is not currently selling uh, these shirts right now. It is a Carhartt shirt. I love. I am a super fan of Carhartt. I don't know about you guys, how much you love. I just love anything and all everything Carhartt. Um, Brian uh, built these shirts for me, and a couple. Um, yeah, he sent me a boatload of products that I would, if you guys are interested, I'll maybe, sh I'll, I'll bring them out and show you. If you guys are interested in having these shirts, you know, you can have the Lead Farms logo on it or put whatever else you want on it, but just the shirt, um, just to buy the shirt in general is awesome. But Brian, Brian's a great dude. He is a fantastic job um, um, for, yeah, Laura and Justin and all, all the other uh, Grace, all the other people out there, um, he's running a great business so that we don't have to build and sell and deliver, deliver products. Okay. Okay. Tanks. Yes. Do the farmers in your area use mostly John Deere or also other brands? Um, uh, oh, it's, it's a lot of John Deere, a um, few case case trackers, but I'd say most of my area is predominantly um, John Deere. I have one of everything. I have John Deere, Miller Sprayer. Yeah, you like that? Um, and a case combine. Channel's great. Never realized how much troubleshooting is required to be a farmer. Seems like one thing after another. Yeah, yeah. It is an honest living, I think. I don't know. It can be stressful this time, but it's in my blood. I love it. Get a nice vintage M60 recovery. Or how about a one-ton Chevy truck, the old one-tons? Um, no, you know, if I wasn't live streaming right now, maybe I could be planting today. Planting software, the tractors, are they networked? Does one tractor know? Yes, it does. I actually set that up this year. So I had it on one tractor and I finally converted all the tractors to have it. So I can either see it on my phone or the desktop and I can see it, yeah, from cab to cab as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. Rural, rural internet is very important. How do you prevent weeds from growing within the crop? Spray. You got a fantastic spray program, big machine. Um, do a little bit of disking, a little bit of tillage, and definitely in the summertime we will do row crop tilling and row crop um, cultivating. So we get rid of weeds by, with spray and iron. Which way is my favorite? I don't know. I like them both. Here. If 
front weight bracket. Um, there we go. Great questions, guys. Get the CV flag in the background. Good afternoon. Still time. Learn to fly. Yes, I had another neighbor, a great friend. He just bought an airplane with another guy. So that's been on my list for a long time to uh, just get my pilot's license and purchase an airplane. Everybody want to split an airplane at some point in the future? Actually, his daughter just got her license as well, too. Flying all over the place. All right. We're going to cut this at one hour. I got an idea. You guys want to see some donuts? I'm a professional donut maker. That's how we'll end this live stream with a squirrely donut maker. Which floor do I want? Got less than one minute, Carlson. Um, oh, let me know in the comments or whatever. Do you guys want to see these shirts or some different kind of merchandise? Um, really appreciate everybody that's bought Lead Farms stuff and apparel. Um, but it's on, I should probably, I should probably throw a plug out. If you go to leadfarms.com, it'll send you over to the Cas Gear website and you can order a bunch of different products from a bunch of different people if you want. All right. Let me get you in here in case I hit you with the four wheeler. It'll be just fine. We should have enough room in there we will go door to door one hour you missed it all right hold on a second let me find a turn the uh, time to make donuts I could turn the camera off uh, and quit this at one hour but uh, you know I'm gonna do a few more
Thanks, guys. We'll see. What? <laughs> Somebody just send me money. All right. I got to answer a question. Yeah. Dad's, uh, hold on a second. Dad's uh, still not out here. Um. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Okay. Yeah, you bet. I will have a great night. Somebody sent me money. Did they have a did they have a question to go along with it? Still learning how to do all of this. Well, thank you very much. Oh, all right. That's going to go to my tire fund. It's very possible that my tread depth is getting a little is getting a little thin and worn down, so um yeah, that'll that'll be the tire fund. I have honestly it's probably the other people that drive this four wheeler um, that wear that wear the tires out. On most of them, all my vehicles tires are bald. Wonder why that is. Thank you for the money for the donation. That was very kind and generous. Hello Ireland. Do I have fields without pivots or is it too dry? Um, I do not have any dry land fields. Some other farmers do, but um, we get we get some rain, but we definitely to grow a good crop. We need definitely need irrigation. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Slow jam uh, update on dad. He had another uh, treatment chemo treatment today. I don't know if you guys know this. He has lung cancer mesothelioma. Um, so he's doing cancer treatments, uh, feeling pretty good. Um, still comes out to the shop from time to time, but, um, he really appreciates all the prayers and the thoughts and, and everything else, um, you guys do do for him. So he's hanging in there. I mean, he's, he's a pretty tough dude. Okay. Yeah. I'm leaving now, right? Later. Good night. Thanks guys. We will probably, um, um, do you want to see another live stream tomorrow? I could set one up. Um, I'll do a live stream tomorrow morning. You guys want to watch the sunrise or the sunset? I'll try to set it up. I'll do it. We'll do another one tomorrow morning.